what is up guys welcome back to another video and in today's video as you know we're getting a giant pond for my red tail catfish beast so let's hop right into it and go get this pond but before we go get the pond we got to go get some sand and a heater for the tank um we don't have a big enough heater for the pond so we're gonna go to the pet store right now get the sand the heater and whatever else we want i also need to get some food for beast so let's go okay i got the food now i just need to find sand and a heater to put in the pond but we got the food for beast so that's one down and there we go i think this is the one we're gonna get 300 watts not that expensive i think this is gonna be perfect it's the biggest one they got so and here's the haul i got the heater 300 watts pellets for food for beast um i got air stone and some tubing i already got the pump for the air and then i also got some ick cure for those goldfish we got in the last video but we got everything we need and we're gonna go ahead and get the pond with Jeffrey. Uh, we're going to Tractor Supply Co to pick it up right now. So I'll see you guys there. Bye Jeff. Rinse it up. You gotta poke a hole in it. What are we doing right now? Um, so right now we got sand over there. Yep. I know you want to take a look. So we got some play sand for the brand new tank, and we're washing out all the sand that way. Cause think about it, if water like this is train, if basically sorry, <laughs> the sand is turning the water this color, and we don't want the tank to look like that. So we gotta rinse all the stuff out of the tank. First bucket of sand. Halfway. <laughs> we still have two more buckets to go. No. Last bag of sand. Going in. Oh, watch out. Let me. This one's cleaning up. This one's going in. Once all these are cleaned and put in the tank, we're gonna put the gravel, clean it up, and put it on top, and then we'll fill the tank up, ready? Fill the pond up, and then tomorrow, after 24 hours, we get the catfish in. Ready, Jeff? Oh yeah. Get the light set up. Half the sand is in. One more bucket to go. Right, Axel? Right? Gonna be in this corner, plants all around it. You ready? Yeah. Let's have a little bit of water. It's fine. Come on, Hansi, come here. Here it is. Ooh. Step around, Jeff. Hey, now I think I'm gonna have this for these. I think that's good. Right there. Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, trim all the bottom. Filling up should take about a half an hour. Yes, sir. Hans, oh, you like it? Yes. It's filling up. No, that's harassment. That's harassment. Don't worry, beast. Tomorrow, you're getting a pond. You'll, you'll be okay, buddy. You'll be okay. Because everyone in the comments keeps commenting saying that your tank's not big enough. It's definitely not big enough. It's not like we're getting a 300 gallon pond today and it's gonna be ready for him tomorrow. All right, Jeff. Yep. Jeff, how did the pond go from what we just saw all beautiful to this? Uh, we, hole. we have a leak. It was looking all good and then we got a leak. Don't buy uh, some tractor supply. Yeah, this tub was... Ugh, okay, we're gonna silicone it. We're gonna find it and silicone it. Three, two, one. Finally done. Ready for Beast to go in in two hours. We got the bubbler, we got the filter, we got the 
plant, we got the light, we got everything, and we got hops. Of course, two hours, here we go. Here we go, getting ready to get him out, let's get the net. All right, like seven times the charm. Here we go. Here we go, got him in the bucket. Let's go get him in the pond. Here we go, adding him to the pond. Let the bucket sit in the water first. We're gonna keep him in here for about a few minutes, let him get acclimated, and then we're gonna let him go into this nice pond. Just gonna let him sit for five more minutes and then we're putting him in. Look at this guy. It's time for him to go. He's about a foot long now, so it's about time he's getting the new pond. Here we go, Jeff, put him in. Here goes Beast into his new pond. Wow, oh, look at him. Look at this. He needed this pond. It looks so small in the pond. I know. Just... Out of this huge pond, he looks so small. Pretty soon he's gonna be look at him big. though. Pretty soon he's gonna be way too big for this. I know. Then we're gonna have to take up this whole entire goddamn space. He's just chilling on the bottom right now. He'll do that most of his time besides when we're feeding. Oh, there's the children. Yeah, there's a nice little hole. Nice little hole. <laughs> He's in. Nice. What if we get like some chicken and we like slap it on the surface and he just comes up and eats it? Because like, now he's not like a tank so you guys can see like all of it. I know, that would actually be a good idea. We can feed him fresh fish right out of our hands. Worms, crawfish, everything. Let us know guys, what else you guys think we should get for this pond. I'm thinking maybe like an arowana or like an Oscar. Thanks for watching, cue the outro.